Hi everybody, happy Sunday night. Here, uh, it's Mary with Mary's Craft Room, Sundays at 7. I hope everybody is having a great end to their weekend. I hope you all stayed cool this weekend. If you know me, I do, you know I do not like heat, so guess where I was all weekend long? In my happy, happy place creating all my cards for my upcoming 5th anniversary as a Stampin' Up! demo. Um, card buffet. So I have all six cards created and five of them are all prepped already so I am way ahead of the game. This happened to be the very first one that I created. I also used it for my In Color Club this month um, featuring the color Fresh Freesia um, which I absolutely love and Soft Succulent but the color for this month was the Fresh Freesia. So, with that in mind, we're, I'm using the Flowers of Friendship and the Double Oval Punch. So, we, let's get started with um, cre recreating this card. Super easy. One of my favorite colors, purple. So, that is good. So, I've got my little packet here. And this is how I do my packets for my um, card buffets. They all, everything they need comes in one envelope. They grab the envelope and away they go along with instructions, which I've got to say, most of them don't usually read and we have a good joke over that one for sure. Um, let's see what else we've got going on here. All right, so we will start with the card base. And our card base is a four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. So we are going to just fold that. Typically, I do my cards this way, but for this card, I decided to do it this way, okay? And then we are going to have, we cut two pieces that are four by five and a quarter. One will go on the outside, and one will go on the inside. So I'm going to leave my outside one here, and put my inside one away for right now. And I can't see right now if there's any comments, so bear with me. All righty. And then I don't see anything, so away we go. And then we also, the other pieces I have are a two, I believe, uh, let me get this right, a two by four of the designer series paper. And this is of the new in colors, so the purple freesia matching. Um, I chose to go with this side. You certainly could have done this side too. It's double sided, six by six, and super cute. So I am just going to be placing that right down there. Get my tape out. And that will go on the card front. I know my friend Jenna had a busy weekend. She was off getting some amazing training in Michigan. I'm so jealous, but I'm so proud of her, too. She's doing amazing work. She's going to be on a cruise in no time. Then I'm just going to simply take this and tape it up. And we'll put that right on the front. And I just center everything. And down we go. All right. Then I have um, two pieces here. The white piece is two and a quarter by four. And then this is the um, soft succulent is um, two and a half by four and a quarter. Yes, that is correct. I just stop and look at that one. I have my instructions written out for me here. Um, so what I'm going to do though is stamp on the white one. And what I did, what I'm using is the large flower, and I'm going to use the soft succulent ink pad. Love this color, and I love it with the fresh freesia. And with a larger stamp, I usually tip it upside down like this to make sure I get everything. I know many of you do too. And I've got this cut so this fits right on there. Nice and easy. Down we go. And there we go. Nice clean stamp. Isn't that nice? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Then we've got, so then what I decided to do with these was I colored them in. I'm going to start with the flower and I use the light fresh freesia blend. And I just colored right in. I use the fatter end like a paintbrush. And I just colored in the flowers. And the two colors go so well together. So I take a break in the summer from doing in-house classes. And I do more events. So I had, um, last weekend I had a craft fair. And that went very well. That was in Lake Mills. I have another one coming up in um, Okachi in 
July, July 10th, and I hope to do well in that one too. Always looking for new contacts, but of course to sell some product too. I'm going to have um, some Christmas stuff in that one. I'm going to do a Christmas in July section on my table. And then on the 31st of, um, oops, I missed one. On the 24th of July, then I'm going to do a Christmas in July card buffet at my church. I've posted that once, but I'll post an event soon with that one. And we'll do six Christmas cards that they get to choose from. Then the next week on the 31st, so apparently I don't take the full summer off, obviously. There's our flowers, cute, hey? Um, then we will, on the 31st, I'm going to do a products class. Now I'm going to use the soft, light, soft succulent and color in the leaves. So on the 31st, I'm doing a products class for um, the strawberry bundle. And then for $50, um, the people coming get to have the strawberry bundle itself, along with the berry blessings from um, celebration, and a half a pack of the paper. And I have accumulated enough paper, so I might be able to up the price just a little bit, and they can have a full pack of paper. So, so far I have four people in that one, and I have room for three more. So if you know of anybody who's interested or you're interested, just contact me and you are welcome to join us. I'm looking forward to this Saturday. I've got some demonstrators coming over and we are going to look at, we are going to put together some of the new kits that have come out. Um, they're similar to paper pumpkin kits, but they are um, a little bit different the price point is a little bit different and you can order them at any time which is very nice so it's not a monthly subscription like paper pumpkin okay so now I've got my two pieces here and I am just going to tape the white one and we'll put that right down on the green and then I'm gonna make sure that I do what I tell everybody else to do and I want to wrap my ribbon around this before I put it onto my card, okay? So I have got the Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon right here, and I just put enough around it so I can tie a knot. I just kind of guesstimate. I don't always measure. There we go. And then we're gonna tie this little knot here Use my scissors for my third hand. Okay, so just put that down there and tie that up. And away we go. Um, and then another thing I'm going to do is my wine bottles have been a huge hit, wine bottle holders. I'm just going to trim this up. So I am actually going to do a Zoom class for those that are farther away that have requested to be in it. We're going to set up a Zoom class for the wine bottle holders, and I'm going to do an in-person class, so I'll make everybody happy. So sometime July, August, I'm going to have those done. So, And then before I know it, I will be right back to all of my um, classes that I have in-house. Hi, Renee. How are you? I know. I wish you could make it, too. Everybody will be here get to meet some of my team. All right, so now we're going to put this on here, and all I did was take the dimensionals and put one in each corner. Super quick and easy card. I think they're going to love this one for the card buffet because it's not that difficult. Um, many of you know I struggle with doing simple stamping, but I try. I try hard. I get a little carried away. I have to remember sometimes less is more. And this is one of my less is more cards. It looks like it's a lot, but it really isn't because look how quick it's going together. So now, I just see where my camera is. I was looking down at comments. So now I'm going to put this right in here. That's a little different than my first one. And that's okay. So we'll put that down like that. And now let's do the sentiment. So I just need a scrap white here. And I am using the one that says little card, big thanks. And I'm going to stamp that in fresh freesia. And 
and then we'll punch that out. There we go. Nice and clean. Love it. And then I'm using the double oval punch, and I'm going to use the smooth side, the smaller one first, and it just fits in there. Things flying around here when I punch it. Get the ink out of my way so I don't get that on my hands. And then to um, back it, then we're going to use the scalloped part, the layering part, and we'll do that in the soft succulent. We got that. And then we'll just put that together, tape that on there. And then what I did with this one was I put tape on part of it on the back, and I'll put a dimensional on one side. So then it lays evenly on there. Got it on here just a little crooked, so let's fix that quick. There we go. Did you hear that little rip? Hopefully I get it back down okay. Nope, looks like I need a little more tape. Sometimes these things happen. But they can always be covered up. There we go. So, now what I'm showing you is I'm going to be putting the dimensional here and then I'll just tape this edge so then when they lay together they're pretty even. So just put this on this end here and a little tape on the other end. And we'll place that right on the edge here. Isn't that cute? Quick and easy. And then, of course, we have to bling it up just a tad. You certainly can't go without blinging it up. So I am using the in-color jewels that, of course, match. Um, and then that was the whole reason behind this was for my uh, monthly in-color club. So I'm just going to use three of the purple jewels and just kind of pop them in here. One there, and how about one right over here? We've got little spots and one right over in here. So now our front is all done. Cute. Love it. All right, I'll set that aside for just a moment. I'll get my gem jewels all put away here. Now the inside is just going to be a basic note card, but I wanted to put a little bit in there. So in the stamp set, they've got this um, row of, of flowers like that. And hi Lorraine, how are you? Oh, is my oh I'm glad that it is um my internet is much better. I am very happy about that. All right, so anyway, I have got the the row of flowers here. And it didn't I didn't get the sticker on very well. So let's see how good I do. And I'm doing that in the green. Oh, I did just fine. Yay! And then, of course, you know my, my rule, no naked envelopes, or rarely a naked envelope. So I'm going to do the same thing on there, on the envelope. And we're just going to come down here, and hopefully, oh, came out nice and clean. Love it. And then I'm going to take my um, light, fresh freesia again, and fill in the flowers with the fresh freesia. And I just did what I always tell people not to do. Look at that. I laid it right in the ink. And you know what? Who cares? It will be just fine, won't it? So I'm just going to fill in these little flowers here. Then Wednesday, I still have a busy summer. I'm having my team over for dinner. So Lorraine is coming, and Sherry, and my two Julies. One Julie lives up in Shell Lake, and she happens to be home. So it worked out perfectly, and we have to have a going away dinner because Sherry is leaving us and moving back to Florida. The, her family is from Florida, and she's been in Wisconsin for 15 years, and it's time for them to go home. So she's going to go build a little Stampin' Up! empire in Florida. There, look at that. All cute and decorated up, so I got a little something. Um... I'll tape that on the inside, and then we will color the envelope, and our card is done, which I love. So I think they are going to absolutely love this one for the card buffet. 
So I just do six cards for them. The first time I did a card buffet, I think I did eight to ten cards, and that got to be a bit too much. So we are just sticking with six, and the minimum requirement is that they make six of them. Some of them make up to ten of them, and that works too. So for my my uh, fifth anniversary, I'm going to have lots of nice door prizes and treats and some water. If they want anything stronger than water, they'll have to bring that themselves. Just kidding. No, nothing stronger. Maybe soda. I used to always do coffee, but some that takes too much of my time. I feel terrible saying that, but I need to spend time when people need me. I'm also going to bring all of my new products so they can have like a little mini open house too. But the big thing is celebrating my five years of being a demonstrator. can't believe how fast it's gone and how far it's gone. I was just going to be a hobby demo and now look where I'm at. I'm having a blast. Having a blast. All right, guys. That is it. My card is done. And it looks similar to the original one, so that's always a good thing. And that's all we've got for tonight. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will see you all again next Sunday. Take care.